What I would like a reader to come away from after having read Getting Through is almost as if they've sat down across the table with me, you know, maybe over a cup of coffee or lunch, and they've been able to share their heart and their feelings and know that someone genuinely cares, to know that they truly are not alone, and that God is with them, sometimes through the arms and the hearts and the ears of other people. relate to the context of the book because I intentionally wrote about several different adversities or challenges or dark valleys that people might go through. So not only did I write about depression and anxiety, which are really symptoms, but I wrote about those core issues that can create that. So debt crisis, affairs, betrayal, uh, sexual abuse, um, anyone who has experienced an injury or an illness that's debilitating and even death. I approached all of those issues because one, I've been through a lot of things myself, but then I was drawn to those who have experienced things that many of us can't imagine ever surviving. People who truly have went through things that they'll never get over. There are many things that people experience in life that as much as they want to, they're just never going to get over it. Other people, well-meaning, can say to them, isn't it time that you just move on? Shouldn't you just get over it? But for that hurting person, again, desperately, they want to, but they can't. So there are some things in life that we will get through, but we can't get over it. Agers Brooks, and I am the author of Getting Through What You Can't Get Over.